Here's a quick review of the carbonic acid bicarbonate buffer system. This system regulates the pH of our blood, keeping pH around 7.4 or 7.5. That's important for enzyme function. It also works with the respiratory system because the respiratory system provides an outlet for excess carbon dioxide. The equation for the buffer system starts with water and carbon dioxide. Together they yield carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can further break down to form a bicarbonate ion and a hydrogen ion, or even further to yield two hydrogen ions and a carbonate ion. These reactions are reversible, so carbonate can form bicarbonate, and bicarbonate can form carbonic acid, and so on. Now we're just going to keep the carbonic acid and bicarbonate as a key at the top, and I'll show you a system that operates in your blood to buffer against pH changes. So imagine this below the line is the blood. If you were to increase the number of hydrogen ions, say from a very acidic meal or beverage, then some of those free hydrogen ions that broke off the strong acid can combine with the bicarbonate ion to form carbonic acid. So it soaks up some of those excess hydrogen ions. This shifts the reaction equilibrium in favor of carbonic acid. But carbonic acid is a weak acid, and it will hang on to those hydrogens better than a strong acid would, keeping the pH level a little bit lower or higher numbers. A buildup of carbonic acid could also favor a shift to carbon dioxide and water, and you could exhale more CO2 to bring equilibrium back. Conversely, if you had a very low level of hydrogen ions, then the carbonic acid could release some of its hydrogen ions, forming bicarbonate, and thus reestablishing a balance. And this is how buffers work. They maintain a pH within a certain range by releasing hydrogen ions or absorbing hydrogen ions accordingly.